Yo, Wagwan, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the tempo of an audio sample in FL Studio 20. So if that's something you need to know how to do, this is the video for you. Stay tuned. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, marketing, and online business. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be a starving artist so if that sounds like you click that subscribe button maybe check out the rest of the content on the channel but let's get straight into it this is a pretty straightforward um, technique although there are a few things that you do need to know beforehand so we're gonna drag a sample in FL studio right about now all right so I'm gonna choose one of my loops from my R&B trap loop secrets kit I will leave a link in the description for that kit if you want to check it out as well as a link to um, some free loops if you want to grab those Mm -hmm. let me grab if only actually let me listen to a few of these first and i'll come back and, and choose which one we're going to choose actually i just remembered i'm not making a beat out of it so it doesn't really matter let's just drag a clip in here and as you can see all of my samples come with you know the bpm the key and all that sort of stuff so it's really easy to figure out how fast it is and what the tempo is so let's drag this in this is 1 1 10 bpm but i do have another video that shows you exactly how to find the tempo of a song and you can use that to find the tempo of a sample or find the tempo of any audio basically or anything you need to find the tempo of in order to understand what tempo it is in fl studio so definitely go and check that video out asap because that's going to help you out a lot and you'll need to know what tempo your sample is before you actually change the tempo it'll just make it a whole lot easier for you to get to this this point so why is that why does it make it easier for you to basically change the tempo by knowing the tempo well the reason why it does that is because if you change the tempo this will snap to the correct grid and then what you really want to do with this is you want to you want to get an eight bar loop or a five bar loop it really doesn't matter you just want to get a small loop that starts on the beat and ends on the beat and it actually loops properly so let's listen to this and this should loop perfectly fine You see how that loops perfectly it comes from the first bar to the first bar again and it sounds like it, it works basically and that's basically what you want and when you have found out the tempo beforehand it's easier to do that because now i can just cut this right here on basically where it's supposed to be and now it's going to be way easier to change the tempo wherever I want it to be because I have a four bar of this loop cut perfectly. If you didn't have this, it would be a little bit more difficult because you need to, you know, look at the transients and all that sort of stuff or maybe listen to it again and again and again and use that method in order to find out you know how to get to the tempo but because we got the tempo, we just set it to the right tempo. We cut it in four bars and then we can manipulate it from here. So there are two main ways that I would use in order to change the tempo of a loop. Now there is the time stretching option, which you can use this time uh, knob and move that. And then there's another option where you can press shift and M and actually drag the clip into place so what we'll do now is i'll change this to around 140 and this is a four bar loop so we want this to be on four bars now if we go to we just double click on on the clip and we move the time we can move the time all the way out to the four bar loop like there 
that's perfect and we can listen back i do believe we'll need to change the mold of this from resample to auto but let's listen back real quick yeah if you go to resample then you know if you change the tempo it's going to change the pitch and all that sort of stuff so we need to go to auto and if we go to auto our sample should sound the same as it was before but just be at a different tempo so let's listen back okay so that sounds perfect now that's the first way very very easy very very straightforward now i want to show you the second way so that you can use this as well just in case so let's bring that time back down to wherever it is uh and here's where that is and then what we need to do is we need to press shift and m and then because we press shift and m as we move this clip it will actually move it'll actually stretch to the time that we're moving it to so as you can see now i've stretched it to about five bars and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the the magnet so that i can move it exactly to five bars or you can use the alt button hold alt while you're moving it and that means you can just move it without it being on the grid but then you might get a little bit off time so that's why i did the um i changed it to i think it was two steps and now if we listen back to it it should be in uh undo 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 come on undo <laughs> work with me not against me all right here we go and now i can press shift and m again to turn that off and now we can just basically elongate the loop out to however long it is and it'll be at the right tempo but let's listen back again to make sure this is correct And as you see, it also basically does the time stretching over here without us actually having to go into that and, and do it with the knob. So there are two ways. You can either do it with a knob here or you can do it on the playlist. The playlist, you might find a little bit more accurate because you're able to actually change the cell to a certain step and then move it exactly where you want it to be. But the easiest way to get this done is to make sure that you know the, te the tempo beforehand. So make sure you check out that video on how to find the tempo of different songs and beats and whatnot so that you can get this four bar loop. And then you can, once you've got the four bar loop, it's super easy to change the tempo. If you don't have the four bar loop, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because you're going to need to, you know, listen to it a few more times and try to get it to the right place. So let's elongate this out and you'll see how the loop just continues playing so basically you get that four bar loop and then you stretch it out and bring it to the full loop and it's easier when you use like a four bar or yeah, it's easier with the four bar, easiest with the four bar because there's just less stuff to move around. The longer it is, the harder it's going to be for you to get the right tempo. Because for example, let's say we had the full loop here and I wanted to get the right tempo and I just moved this to like there or something, then that's really gonna offset the whole sample and make everything super off time. That's why, you know, that four bar minimum is, is really the best thing you wanna do. And this is just, this is this is very sloppy, just moving around right about now. I don't know if this is actually on the right thing, but that's besides the point. I've showed you exactly how to change the tempo of your sample. I hope this video has helped you out. And because you've stayed through to the end, I've got a gift for you. If you wanna get 10 free loops, there's a link in the description that you can click on to go and get 10 free loops or go to jcarteray.com forward slash free loops so you can grab a bunch of free 
free loops from me that you can use in your beats today. So just so we've got everything clear, in order to change the tempo of your loops, the first thing you wanna do is find out the tempo of the loop. Make sure you know the tempo of the loop. If you downloaded it from like a reputable source or someone who's making samples and they're labeling them correctly, then you should know the, the tempo already. If not, you can check out my video that will walk you through the whole process to finding out the tempo of different songs, different loops, that sort of stuff, and that will get you there. Then you wanna create a four bar loop. Then you can either use the time stretch knob and make sure that the mode is set to auto, or you can use shift and M. That's a shortcut on the keyboard. You need to press shift, hold shift, press M, and that will basically change the way the the timeline works or you can click on this stretch um, button up here this stretch option and that will allow you to basically stretch the sample to the correct tempo and when it's at four bars it's much easier to do that so you can stretch something to make it half as slow or you know double the time and, and whatnot it's just much easier to do that over there or you can just quickly make something another tempo as i just showed you in this video but you can also use that process to like create some interesting effects so definitely try it out and that that's basically where you're at bob's your uncle once you've done that you've changed the tempo of your loop now you can add drums and, and do whatever needs to be done at that point so i hope this video helped you out a lot my question of the day is what tempo do you make most of your beats in i think that's a really really interesting question i think this will lead to a lot of insight for a lot of other artists and producers so definitely leave that in the comment section down below i'm very interested to see what tempo tempo you're usually using personally let me answer the question myself i personally use mostly actually let me not answer it i'll leave a comment in uh like down below when we have enough people answering the question i'll leave a comment of what i use mostly and and we can have a discussion in there just to you know spice it up a little bit but those are the points this is the video and be sure to you know like comment subscribe all that sort of stuff as it lets me know that you like these types of videos you want more of this type of content so please do that if you liked this video and i'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music online marketing or online business peace out